Today on Toy Shiz, I need a hero. I'm holding out for a hero till the end of the night. <laughs> Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we're totally checking out the brand new Mattel Masters of the Universe He-Man Origins Buzz Saw Hordak, ruthless leader with a blaster blade. Of course, Hordak has one of these popping out of his chests. Anybody want to fill me in? Please, by all means, this thing rocks though. This is like old school toy action and I could not be happier to check this out. Saw blade bursts out of chest. On the back side, you get all the cross cells. You get that gorgeous art that always adorns these packages and all the great packaging and the layout and everything else and all the cross cells, everything that's coming. You get to see exactly in illustrated form how to operate this Hordak. And then you get to see the Wind Raider, which is coming soon as well. You got the Evil Horde, you got Battle Armor He-Man. I've taken a look at all those anyways, and here's the barcode. These are hitting Target stores now. Hey, guess what? Just in time for this little video right here, the new Masters of the Universe revelation trailer dropped and that was the most ridiculous 80s trailer i have seen in a while that got me so pumped and i'm like i said i'm new to he-man he-man origins is my thing now because it's just ridiculous fun but that trailer was awesome so ridiculous but so freaking cool worth the wait kevin smith i'm really looking forward to the series let's hope the series is as good as that trailer right <laughs> And then especially, you know, holding out for a hero, the Bonnie Tyler song that they played. Perfect. Just perfect marketing right there. Really looking forward to the figures. Those should be out in and around June 15th. Really looking forward to that Skelegod figure. That's for sure. That looks amazing. But enough about all this. Let's talk about Buzzsaw Hordak. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Mattel Masters of the Universe He-Man Origins Deluxe Buzzsaw Hordak. If you're wondering, yes, he does come with a comic book, Horde Plague, and really nice artwork inside. I like that they put these in here. It gives you an idea of what you're dealing with with the characters. I really like the illustrated instruction booklet. It does show Hordak launching a giant buzzsaw out of his chest. And again, if anybody wants to tell me, I know they made the old toy back in the day, but what I'm saying is, why does he do this? That's that's the question. So here is Buzzsaw Hordak, all out of the packaging. Comes with a couple accessories, which is really great to see. And he does resemble the old previous one that just came out, but with some added accessories like an extra hand. He does come with two of these yellow buzz saws, which are done nicely. Light plastic, but they're, they're sculpted nicely. They got a little bat symbol right there from his chest on them. The extra head is nice. It's basically the last head that we got for Hordak. And then as you can see, the new one that I popped on there, he's got like a smile. He's so happy about being evil. But yeah, you can see the difference right there. I'll show you the uh, how it compares with the other figure in just a second. Same thing with the crossbow that he has. Same exact one. Does the same exact thing. Clips onto his arm. I really wish he would have had a different weapon. But in either case, I'm glad that he does come with as many weapons as he does for a deluxe figure but overall yeah same figure but he looks cool and now he's got this new little buzzsaw gimmick to him i love toys that have gimmicks so it's very cool he kind of pressed down on his cape which is nice nice red cape underside shows the mattel logo all that information yada yada and then on the front side that's where the magic happens one thing i'll say Better paint, a little bit better paint would have been nice. Same problem as the last Hordak release on the reds, on the blacks. So pull down his little chest cavity right here. Then you're going to pop in one of these yellow buzzsaw saw blades to eviscerate your enemies right there. And then you close it up. Now, here's where I made the mistake, right? You push down on this cape, it's going to fly open. I thought that if you push it down, it'll pop everything open. No, you have to push the cavity down and then go that route. So let's get... He-Man right here, set him up, and let's just see how this works. Let's let's destroy our enemies, right? So you push down the back of the cape, and that's going to shoot out. <laughs> here it is in slow motion, in case you missed that. Do not aim at your eyes or face, just FYI. Luckily, we have an extra one, so we just pop that in right again. Aim and fire. <laughs> It never works. Let's aim it at the camera so I can show you firsthand. And here we can slow it down. It shoots out rather quick. So just be careful and be prepared to run across the room and grab it, especially if you have 
you know, hardwood floors. Here he is compared to the last Hordak release, really from the last wave, to be honest with you. This one, some differences, color differences here and there. The head portrait, let's just say, on this prior release, it's the same exact head that comes with the buzzsaw, but the pupil's a little bit different, a little bit darker to a lighter red on the new release. The first release is kind of like an 80s look. This one has larger pupils, kind of like a more modern look, if that's the way I can describe it. But you can interswap all the stuff, put the red bat on his arm, yada yada. It's the same figure overall, minus the buzzsaw attachment. So really not too much difference in the sense of the figure. I think you'd be happy with either one. But I really do like the gimmick part of this Hordak. It's a lot of fun to put that in and shoot the missile out, basically. So in that sense, if you don't have the other one, I would go for this one. <laughs> you get more accessories, more fun things. But he, the last one does have that little bat piece. You know what? I'm going to leave it up to you. But in either case, you're going to be solid with this Hordak release and whichever one you pick. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about this Buzzsaw Hordak. And what do you think about the new Masters of the Universe Revelation trailer? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Masters of the Universe. <laughs> A lot of stuff. Hopefully Masters catches on again, right? So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, he's got to be strong and he's got to be fast and he's got to be fresh from the fight. And I hope all that gets stuck in your head since I saw that this morning. Just over and over. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.